and I always forget what side of the screen I want to be on. So if I'm doing my editing, I put myself on the right and I put it on the left. So I think I want to be over here. No, I got it wrong last time. This is the right side. I had to double check. I'm watching it on TikTok. She has on an orange and pink lover bodysuit. And the jacket is this gorgeous orangey coral that is like stunning and actually reminds me so very much of my prom dress. It's giving my prom dress from senior year. I love that the color scheme is coming back around. Oh my God. I don't know. I love this. It's so sunset. Ooh. Also orange and pink. Oh my God. It's also orange and pink. She very pointedly said, you might think that these songs are about my life or stories I've made up when you listen to these songs, but I want them to be about you. And she like hammered home. You may think. That's the second time on this tour that she's like so blatantly called out. The first time that I can remember was at my show in Minneapolis where she was like, you think you know who Dear John's about. But let's not harass people. We're about to go into what I think could be the first song she cuts. Where is she going? Where is she going? Oh. Well, she's leaving. Oh my God, she cut the archer. Oh my God. She cut the archer. I was right. She is totally adding TTBD to the set list. I, <gasps> we still have fireworks. We still have fireworks, but she cut it. I thought that the heiress tour was a, was a giant Easter egg for songs she was cutting. And so far we've got one. Are we going into fearless? Oh my God. And the people in the chat, the people who are recording the video are like putting it together. Y'all are behind. I need a confirmation that we're going into Fearless next though. I can't focus until we've got that confirmation. Is it always this long of a transition? Oh my God. We still have the Fearless room. Everyone else is asking if it's always been this long. I think it was long, but I don't remember. Okay, we have Fearless next still. Okay. Does she have a new outfit? Wait, is that new? Camera take is closer. Is that a new outfit? I can't. I think it might be. She comes out in a new rep costume. I will pass away. I will cease to exist. She's wearing a silver and black Fearless dress with black boots, which is giving original Fearless era, like the iconic dress. You know the one I'm talking about. It is it is iconic. She was too stunned to speak. Fearless set just ended. What is happening? I'm like so on the edge of my seat. It should be Evermore. It should be Tis the Damn Season from Evermore. Whoa! What? Wait a second. Why is red next? Is this red? They're all freaking out. I'm freaking out. What the hell is going on? I thought for sure it was going to be Evermore. I don't have any, I, I don't know. It's, now I need to know, is there going to be another new costume or a new shirt? What is, what is happening? I chronically forget that red was an era that happened on the show because I just don't think it's very memorable. I think Red is kind of forgetful as a set. I know, sacrilege, but what's her shirt say? This is not Taylor's version? <sighs> She's sending me into a spiral. She really said, you all thought you knew what was coming. You all thought you knew what to expect. The people who underestimate Taylor Swift should feel silly because I feel like she time and time again proves that she should not be underestimated and because you think she can't do it, she's gonna do it. People underestimate the lengths I will go to and how much I will inconvenience myself to prove a point. So like we need to stop underestimating her. If you think she can't do it, she can do it. Change a world defining tour in the middle of it? Sure, why not? Easy peasy, it's a regular Tuesday afternoon. Thursday afternoon, you know, whatever. This is very silly, but it is a little jarring to see the red set done with such straight hair. Is it the same bodysuit? It appears to be the same. I don't have any expectations of All Too Well being cut. I feel like she's made a really big deal about that moment in her career. So will we get All Too Well 10 minute version? I think we're still gonna get it. Something is happening on stage, but it is dark. Yeah, she's still doing it. I had no expectation of her cutting that. That seems to be a song that she's very, very proud of. Oh, this is so weird. Fun surprises? She said the words. She said the words. I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. 
oh, I'm so mad I don't have tickets for this tour anymore. My friend just had to get married on the day I had tickets. I'm not mad at you, Taylor, I'm not mad at you. What comes next? Cause it should be 1989. No, folklore, it should be folklore next, but it's not. Is it not? What's gonna happen next? I had to go pee and I was panicking that I was gonna miss the transition out of red, but we're good. She's finishing up all too well. Okay, what's next? It should be folklore. Okay, that looks a little folklore-y. It looks like snow, which is like the transition to folklore. What's happening? What song is this? What's happening? Is it purple? That's new visuals that we haven't seen before. Everything's purple, so I think speak now. Okay, we've got some flowers. This is giving. Is this Castle's Crumbling? We're dancing, this is different. This is different. I mean, I think everybody assumed Castle's Crumbling would be added because Haley from Paramore is, you know, opening for the entire European leg of the tour. Um, and she did that with Phoebe Bridgers and she did that with Haim. So I think it was assumed this was happening. Is she gonna have a new dress? There's a man on stage, that's new. Typically it's just the women. She's going in, oh my God, she's going in the TV release order. It's Fearless, then she did Red, now she does Speak Now. If she does 1989 next, it's in TV order. Ooh, I think it's new. Ooh. It's very sparkly. We have Enchanted though, that's what's happening. Oh, it is it? Oh my gosh, look at how pretty it is. I'm dead. It's like this blush ballerina color. It's so sparkly. That train though, the drama is a much more like dramatic version of the dress from Speak Now tour and it like is the same colorway. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, I can't remember, I've never seen it live with um, Long Live included, but I believe she stays in the middle of the stage, right? She doesn't return back up the catwalk um, and the stage just lowered and she turned around and she walked and now she's like midway between the diamond and the back of the stage. Is this normal? I think they're cutting long live, but are they adding castles crumbling? She's walking out the stage. She is, okay, what is happening? What comes next? I think we knew long live would be cut. They're freaking out about it being cut, but I had a feeling. No castles crumbling? We're not gonna sing with Haley? <gasps> she just gave us a sinister little wink. Oh my goodness, you are, you devious woman. <gasps> and now we have rap. Okay, so it's not going in TV order because it would be 1989. Dead. Is there gonna be a new outfit? So far, every single t um, era has had a new outfit. Buddy, you're, you're, you're like, I can't focus on petting you right now. We have the double boots. Buddy, I need you to just not right now. I'm so surprised you didn't do Castle's Crumbling. I mean, it's not like a huge hit or favorite or anything, but I'm surprised nonetheless. Oh. Same outfit. She has two legs, two pant, or she has one pant leg and one then one like skinned leg. That sounded really bizarre. It's the same outfit. I don't think we're gonna get a new rep outfit until she announces the TV version. Look at my dog being so dramatic because I didn't pet her. First set list of the evening where she hasn't had a new outfit, but I think she knows that we uh, will associate a new outfit for rep with an announcement. So she's not gonna do that because she's not announcing rep tonight. Like there's no way. The big thing for tonight is going to be adding TTPD. It's not rep's time. Oh, I didn't pay attention. Damn it, I was looking to see if she points at any of the specific women in the boxes or people in the boxes. So this should be the end of the rep set. Typically we'd be going to speak now, but obviously we've already done speak now, so we're not doing that. This looks like Evermore folklore vibes. Yeah, I agree. This feels like Evermore. Or folklore. Is it following an invisible invisible string? This is really pretty. This is a really pretty transition. I love all the like greenery and colors and stuff. Okay, we got the back of the stage opening. Okay, the trees are coming up. I keep expecting to like say across of it, but I forget that that's only like the movie version, not the actual live version. I keep waiting for it to say like Evermore on it and it's not going to. Okay, so that means Tis the Damn Season got cut. I am giving myself flowers. Snaps for Jordan, snaps for Jordan. It's not Evermore, it's folklore. Are there always trees during folklore? No. Is that a new dress? Is she combining these into one set? What's happening? This is Cardigan. This is Cardigan! Oh my God! Did she cut the one? No, that wasn't on my bingo card. <gasps> she cut the one. <gasps> 
and replace it with cardigan, which means that cardigan's not obviously at the end anymore. <gasps> Guys, this is wild, and I'm so freaking annoyed that it keeps freezing. This is totally a new dress. It looks like it's kind of like the white dress that she wears that she had in her movie, but it's yellow. Okay, we still have Betty. Wait. It goes Betty and then The Last Great American Dynasty, right? I swear to God, if she cuts The Last Great American Dynasty, I will not forgive her. The one was already a stab to the heart. I wasn't prepared to lose the one. I was prepared to lose Cardigan. What is happening? What is happening? She's at the piano. Is she combining the two eras? Oh my God, she's combining them. Bitch. <gasps> this is a new speech. I am dead. She reunited the sister albums on the tour and she was, you can call it Folkmore, Everlore, but they're now combined in one set. They don't have their own sets. How can we have each era at a time? One by one if we don't have these two separate. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm unwell. How many of these songs does she cut? These are two of my favorite Sets on the tour. I can't even focus. I'm having a mini meltdown. Seems she is still leaving in the space and the time for the iconic champagne problem standing ovation. But what happens now? This is all different. This is all different. She combined them. She is, she is, boom. I don't even, <sighs> I also thought I spilled my Olipop on me and I did in fact, so I had to go. This is my Taylor Swift concert sweatshirt, by the way. It's okay. I've spilt toothpaste on this before. What happens now? It should be tolerated after Champagne Problems. August! Wait. Wait. Taylor, Allison Swift. Are you cutting My Tears Ricochet and Illicit Affairs? No. Here's the moment. Is it cut? Is it happening? Illicit Affairs into My Tears Ricochet. I think she's doing it. I think she's doing it. Thank you. Thank you for not cutting it. So what have we got? I'm looking at the set list. We got, whoa, wait a minute. We haven't gotten Will yet. Okay, so we got Champagne Problems and that's the only song from Evermore so far. You're laying on all my electronics, bro. And then we've gotten quite a bit of folklore, kind of. We got August, Illicit Affairs, and Cardian. So, I'm, we're presumably losing the one in the last Great American Dynasty. And all of Evermore aside from Champagne Problems? Like no Marjorie, no Willow? There's no way. Taylor, what are you doing to me? My Tears of Ricochet has survived another day. This is my favorite live performance from this. I think it is just incredible. At this point, we would be going into uh, Cardigan but she already sang Cardigan. So what is happening now? She's doing some waving around of her dress. What's happening? Oh, this is Marjorie? What's this is Marjorie. I did not think she was going to skip Marjorie. Like I would have been shocked because I think she loves that moment about her grandma, you know, in stadiums. I really, uh, I really want Willow. I fucking love her performance of Willow. Maybe she'll end it on Willow. I think we're gonna lose Tis the Damn Season. I think we're gonna lose Tolerate It, potentially. Oh my God, I was not expecting like these cuts from Folklore and Evermore. Throwing me for a loop. I was right about Long Live and The Archer though. That means we really only have 1989, the acoustic set and Midnight's to go because she did Lover and Fearless. Then she did Red and Speak Now and then Rep. And now she's doing the sister albums. So all that's left is 1989 and Midnight's, plus the supposed addition of TTPD. Wow. We're like, I feel like we're cruising, cruising through this. She has been on stage for about two hours. So <laughs> cruising, yes, but not really either. Okay, so she's walking up the stage with her backup dancers. Or Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, what shoes does she have on? She doesn't have on her little ballet flats. I'm gonna get the Evermore shoes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think we're gonna end up on Willow. But now I'm wondering, we have Willow. Theoretically, if Willow is the end, are we going to go into 1989 and then the acoustic set? Or are we gonna get TTPD here, then 1989, 1989 and the acoustic set? 
What's next? I'm so like jazzed that I can't even speak clearly at the moment. Okay, so she's going under the stage. I think this is the end of the folklore set. I do like how she had the trees out for the entire set because the trees feel, oh. 1989's in the distance. So we're doing this and then we're doing the acoustic set and then we're gonna get Midnight's in TTPD. So what's gonna be the end of the tour? Is it going to be TTPD? Do you think she's gonna have a different color outfit for 1989? We already have four, but I mean, she's got like a million lover bodysuits at this point. And folklore dresses, now that it's combined into one, she's got so many options for folklore now. Oh! Oh! Taylor, no! It's the skater skirt! Wait, she's in pink and blue. Her shoes are different colors. I wanna see the shoes closer. Is it really like one pink shoe, one blue shoe, or is it like a combination of, on both shoes? This is the most 1989 outfit I feel like she's worn yet. This little skater skirt and the bra top. <gasps> I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, will she cut Wildest Dreams? I'm kind of thinking no at this point, because I think she cut enough from Folklore and Evermore that Wildest Dreams wouldn't need to be cut to make room for another set which I think is easier because it was like a transition point between two songs rather than at the end or beginning of a set list. You know, I just realized she changed her outfit. What happens to the surprise song dress? What happens to the acoustic dress? She's wearing a different color top from bottom and she's wearing two different color shoes. What happens to the dress? Hey, this is the moment for Wildest Dreams. Oh, I hear it in the background, we're still doing it. Which I'm okay with. I like the little like sexy Wildest Dreams dance that she does. I think it's a good transition to Bad Blood. I can't get over that she's wearing two different color shoes though. Why was that the choice? Do you think it's interesting that they're pink and blue though? She looks a little bit like the Little Mermaid. Like the color scheme that she has chosen here. And like the f ombre. But also she has a lion in the middle of her top which i am confused by unless the top is made by like versace is that the one that has like the lion and it's like an emblem but none of her other costumes have like the designer emblems on them we still have the haunted house i can kind of barely see it on the side there so i think we're still going to burn the house i'm starting to think that this is the era in which she decided she was going to burn the house if you live like that you live with ghosts that was that was so pointed that was so sassy. What is with the lion's head brooch on her top? Oh my god, look at that little flouncy skirt when she does this dance move. Why didn't we have the skirt all the time? I love it. Everything's on fire in the background. All a bunch of orange fire. Consistent. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Did she just disappear? Did she? What? What's happening? We should have the surprise songs. She went down. She went down. Did she move the acoustic set? Maybe she. What is happening? Oh, we're at TTPD! We're at TTPD! Oh my gosh, what's happening? We're at TTPD! Of course, bad blood in TTPD. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. Dead. R.I.P. me, I died dead. Oh, 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 oh. They're all walking in onto the stage in white outfits very eerily. I'm so upset I don't have tickets anymore. Why are they all walking so creepily? They're like zombie. Oh, 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 here she is. What's she wearing? Takeju. It's daddy, I love him. I knew it. Oh, she's got the white dress. Ooh, and a fancy black choker and white boots. She has got a whole church vibe going on right now. I can't believe I'm watching this with my actual eyeballs right now. Like, this does not seem real. The skipping up and down the stage. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're having so much fun. Look at them dancing. But you... 
I was not on my bingo card either. So high school? Oh, it was just like a little ending cap to the song. Okay, okay. I have to pee and I just don't have time for that right now. <laughs> Who's afraid little old me? I called it, I called it. We're two for two. I think they're, they added extra lifts to the stage. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so cool. She literally just levitated across the stage, y'all. Just levitated across the stage. She's still doing it. She's still levitating. Oh my God. Look at her go. Look at her go. That is so fucking cool. <gasps> she's still doing it. She's spinning. Now she's spinning. Oh my God. This is so cool. Oh my God. That is so cool. This is so cool. She looks like a puppet master. And like these are her puppets that she's like directing around the stage while she levitates and floats among them. That was the, oh my God, it's a zombie Taylor. <gasps> oh my God, I can't. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. No, no. I'm gonna have a moment. Oh my God. This is my favorite song. Oh my God, and she's like spinning around on this levitate. I can't, I, I can't. This is the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen. She's making an infinity sign. Okay, so it was typewriters on kind of a bed and it like lifts, it, it, it tilts side to side and she's singing Fortnite and it sounds that she kept the Post Malone parts in. She's not singing them or having someone else sing them unless it's a background singer singing them. And I lost my mind during Down Bad. The only one that she hasn't done yet that I thought for sure she would do is I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. The smallest man who ever lived? Oh, she has a coat. She has a coat. This is a good focus. I'm so surprised by how many things she's including in this set. She's gonna do like the end part. Were you sent by someone? Yep. Oh my God. With the marching band in the back? No. Taylor. That is so cool. They brought out drums. I said it would be fun for them to have drums. Oh, she just did the salute. Oh, this is like so angry, Taylor. I love this. I can't get over like the visuals on the set. Oh, oh, we're laying on the ground. At first you're like, smallest man ever lived? Why is that on the set list? Now I get it. Oh, they're picking her up. Oh my God, they're carrying her. This is literally so dramatic. I can't. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? We're changing outfits on the middle. This is like so sassy. Very theatrical. Oh, she doesn't want to participate. There's the gold microphone. I'm pretty sure. They put gym shoes on her? What is going on? This is getting so red. Try to come for my job. That was the most sassy thing I've ever seen. I love that. Can we have that sassy Taylor like all the time? That was so much fun. I need to see that live. What happens next? Do we get the surprise songs? Do we get Midnight's? We have to get Midnight's. Do we get, that was incredible. That was incredible. Oh my God. And to think people didn't want her to include this. Mm. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Ooh, Taylor, that's so cute. Okay, we have the surprise song set. Secret, acoustic, whatever you want to call it. That's what's happening next. Oh my gosh, they like totally changed her outfit that she uses um, for secret songs. Like this is totally a different, I don't know if you can see it. It's totally different, it's pink and orange. There's a lot of pink and orange happening. She is in fact singing Paris on the guitar, which of course she is, of course she is. She's saying a very beautiful rendition of LOML on the piano and then did her stage dive and swam under the stage and now we're heading to midnights. Um, the clouds appear to be the same with the ladder and everything. Um, I think really the only thing we have left that could like be a big change is her costume from midnights. I think all the songs and stuff should remain the same, right? Here come the clouds. 
I'm excited to see what her outfit looks like though. Do in fact have a new Midnight's outfit. Another new Midnight's bodysuit. You can't see it from there probably. But it is, I like it. I do like it. So nearly every set got a new outfit except for Reputation Taylor. Doing Reputation dirty. She's waiting until she announces it. I know she is. She's got one in the bank somewhere. Let's go ahead and take a look at my predictions list that I compiled previously to her going back on tour and see how correct I am. I apologize for the cicadas in the background. It is cicada season. I haven't been out in like 13 years. So they're going wild and they're going crazy. Watch back my most recent video where I posted my predictions for the Eras Tour and what I thought would come of the set list and the changes with the release of the Tortured Poets Department. So the Eras Tour 2.0 predictions, um, I'm going to put them up on the screen so that we can kind of go through them together and we can see, we can see how right, how right she is. I'm actually kind of like weirdly impressed with my ability to predict uh, what Taylor Swift is going to do on her tours because I was weirdly accurate in a lot of respects. So I predicted that there would be some songs cut some songs or sets added, and then just some like really specific nuanced things that she did um, that is wild to me. So first of all, let's go through the predictions for what I thought that she would remove and if I was correct or not. So I predicted she would remove the Archer from the Lover set, which she did. I pre predicted that she would remove Tis the Damn Season from the Evermore set which she did. The removal of Cardigan from the Folklore set, which she did not. Um, she did some cuts to the Folklore set that stunned, shocked, put me into a horizontal position because um, I wasn't expecting them. I was expecting Cardigan to get removed because it wasn't in any of her uh, Heiress Tour releases except for the full one on Disney+. Plus. So I was like, it's gone. But instead, she took out the one, which was a crime, and I'm not over her for that decision, and put Cardigan there instead. So she sings Cardigan on the roof of the cabin rather than the one. And then she cut The Last Great American Dynasty. I'm still not talking about it because I'm upset. Not to mention the fact that she cut Tis the, Tis the Damn Season and like a whole huge chunk of Evermore as well. Um, we also cut tolerate it. That might be the only other one actually. She combined it into one set so we get half of the woodsy folklore vibes and um, half of all of the really beautiful outfits for that set. So that one was a very big surprise for me that she combined it into folklore or evermore, whatever you want to call it. Next, I thought she would remove Long Live, which she did. And I also thought she would remove Wildest Dreams, which she did not. She kept Wildest Dreams, which honestly I mentioned in my video, I think made sense because it's in the middle. Look at how she wants me to pet her. I'm busy right now. We cuddled for a while. Can we do it later? Ma'am. Are you really gonna climb off the couch and onto like my shoulder, like a bird? Those are sharp nails. Okay, can we just go back up here? Thank you. Can you sit? Or you sit? Hey, pay attention. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Wildest Dreams is in the middle of two songs. It's used as a transitional moment between Shake It Off and Bad Blood. So I th I'm glad that she kept that in there. It's also like a little sultry, sexy dance, which I'm glad she kept. Um, and I think the visuals are also very important for the overarching story that she's telling on the Eras tour. I was not prepared for the reordering of the set list. Like the Eras going in all the different places, that I was not prepared for and caught me so off guard when we were all of a sudden in the red era after Fearless. Um, that one I was not ready for. But then I did also think that she would add a TTPD set. There was a lot of discussion and debate about this. I felt it was um, a useless debate as in I thought that it made, there was no other option in my mind. Like, of course she's gonna add this. And she did. 
And I think it's really interesting some of the things I thought that she would include in the set list for TTPD and how accurate it was. So I made a list of songs that I thought would be included and I got weirdly close to the set list. So I said that she would include Fortnite, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart, But Daddy I Love Him, Who's Afraid Of Little Old Me, Florida and Down Bad. And Florida and Down Bad were two things that I just wanted to see but didn't actually think would be on the set list. And I got one of those correct. She did. She does include Down Bad. So really the only songs that I didn't guess she would play were So High School and The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived, which is crazy that I <laughs> was like so in tune with what she was going to pick. Wild. And also, funny enough, I said drums for Florida would be a really fun Thing to add because she uses drums in a lot of her other live performances. She uses drums in a couple of her performances for me. She uses drums for Endgame or King of My Heart on the rep tour and I just love when she includes drums. So imagine my surprise when the smallest man who ever lived starts playing and a drum line comes out. Not the right song but I freaking guessed drums so I felt in sync with Taylor on that one. And then I talked about some of the visuals that could be used in um, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me to like make it really fun for stage. And I mentioned levitating and burning. Did I think she would actually have a platform Roomba situation rise from under the stage for her to like float around on and levitate across? No, no, I did not. I didn't think it was going to be quite so literal, but my mind, her concept was better than anything my mind could have come up with. I just think it's really interesting that I like nailed the visuals of that. And while Burning is in But Daddy I Love Him, she's literally in a church surrounded by stained glass and pews on an altar that is burning. So, I mean, I can't say I was super off. Very proud of myself for the prediction of that entire set. And I was actually losing my mind with how correct I was. Wild. And then, of course, I thought there would be new merch for the new tour. Um, not new tour, but new merch for the new album to be included on the tour, which, of course, we did see that. And I thought there would be new costumes, which, of course, we have had a plethora of new costumes with the new lover bodysuit, the new fearless dress, the new red t-shirts. Um, the red bodysuit got some alterations to it. We have some new Folkmore dresses. We have a new Speak Now ball gown, which is beautiful and probably my favorite ball gown that she ever wears for the Speak Now set. Um, what else do we have? A bunch of new 1989 outfits, which seem like one giant Easter egg that we're just not figuring out quite yet. And then a new Midnight's bodysuit. No changes to red. Oh my gosh. And then the new, obviously, TTPD costumes and the new surprise song dress. So I was correct on the new costumes front. And then I also hypothesized that TTPD would be added not at the beginning and not at the end, which I was also correct on. Um, I made some guesses of where it would be in the set list. So I made, I think, Lover, After Lover, After Speak Now, or After Red. And I was not correct on any of those. But also she reordered all of the eras. So that was a loop I was not prepared for her to throw at me. I, I like, did really, really well. I'm really impressed and really proud of myself. And I would like to say that I um, pay attention. I pay attention. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking along for this journey through Taylor Swift and her release of TTPD. I would love to know if you are also following along with all of the craziness that is Taylor Swift and like the pandemonium that we're experiencing with her in the comments down below and feel free to follow me online at these handles here. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you very soon. Bye!